Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Linux Mint and very briefly show you around Linux Mint at the end. Go to linuxmint.com Once you get there go straight to the downloads page. On a downloads page you all have a list of options. So you have Cinnamon, Mate, X, FCE, and KDE. These are desktop environments and they are different. These are different, they give a different feel to the whole the whole thing. So this this picture here is showing you um this is this looks like cinnamon here. Okay, so um if you want to know more about desktop environments, I have another video on that, so please watch that. Um, the next thing you're going to need to think about is, uh, do you want a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version? 64-bit and a 32-bit. The 64-bit is going to be better, and um, you can only use it if your processor will allow you to use a 64-bit. But that's okay. Most modern processors will allow you to use a 64-bit processor. So check that you can use whether you can use a 64-bit program or not, and then install the appropriate one. You can choose to install any one of these, but I'm going to go for um, Cinnamon, just so you can see what it's like. Now, once on this page. Depending on where you are, depends on where you want to download it from. So if you're in the US, download it from one of these. And um, if you're in Denmark, then download it from one of these. If you're in France, download it from one of these. You get a picture, right? I'm in the UK. So I'm going to download it from one of these. In fact, the University of Kent UK Mirror Service is actually the best one. So um, I will download it from here. This one doesn't seem to work. Um, so if you're in the UK, choose this one. Then wait for it to download and then we'll go through the installation process. Hello. You've tested out a live session of Linux Mint and now you want to know how to install it. So if we go to this uh, disk here, install Linux Mint. Select your language. This might be a good idea to check this box. Erase disk and install Linux Mint. <clears throat> this will do the uh, the normal. Um, this one here. Um, unless you know what you're doing, leave this one alone. And just go with this one here. So we go to install now. This is just uh, telling you what changes are going to be made and we're going to just click continue. Make sure you have the right location just by uh, clicking on it here like you can just click around. And then 
continue. This is for the keyboard layout. Make sure you select the right keyboard. Under most circumstances, if you're installing this straight onto a PC, then English UK is going to be fine. If um, you are using a uh, Macintosh, if you're installing it onto a Macintosh, perhaps you're using uh, a virtual machine, then you would click this this one here. But under normal circumstances, you would click this English. Just type in your name. Type in a password. Whether you want to log in automatically or not. Um, and then move on to the next stage. This part may take a while, so I'll just fast forward it until we get to the next step. Now it's finished. And it is really as simple as that. You have to restart it. Uh, to finalize it, but you have you have installed Linux Mint. Let me show you. Let me have the Firefox browser. This here is the uh, show desktop. Here is terminal. And this is files. So if you clicked on there, you get the home folder. And um, you can see down the side it's got home, desktop, documents, music, pictures, video, downloads, um, trash, networks, you know, the, the usual kind of thing. It, it's, uh, it, it, it does look very sort of Mac-y on this side, but down here it looks, it, it, it's kind of more Windows-y. If you click on here, because it has the Cinnamon interface. Here, this is uh, this is a bit like a, a, a Windows, the new Windows 10, isn't it? Um, and then you have like you know you've got all these different things in here. So accessories, graphics, internet. This is uh, the mail server, by the way. Um, LibreOffice, uh, 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 the full suite, sound and video. Uh, this is uh, um, a bit like Banshee, if you know what Banshee is, um, or VLC. It, it's uh, it plays music. Okay, so it, it's 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 mainly just music. 
have a, a media player, um, install uh, multimedia codecs. Uh, that's uh, you, you're going to need to do that. Uh, this is a disk burner, and of course you have like preferences, administration, which is uh, I've got things like Gparted, the printers, software manager. Um, update manager that's it we've now installed Linux Mint if you like this video please give it a like and maybe subscribe and check out one of my other videos